video a thumbs up. Please be subscribed to BigFatPanda.com and put any comment on this video, please. And now, let's get to our special guest. And I'm here with Daniel Cisneros, a boxing judge and big Disney fan. And yes, I will give him the, the hug. Oh, the panda Sometimes hug. Sometimes I forget, right. yes. Don't squeeze too hard, I'm All very right. delicate. All right. So did I, pr I pronounce that right? Cisneros. Cisneros. Yes, yes. From Las Cruces? Daniel Cisneros. Yes. Las Cruces, New Mexico. Las Cruces, New Mexico. Okay. Uh, Dan, we will get into this. Uh, Disney Tale of the Tape. And I have, I'm a little biased with this book because I'm in it as a judge. Okay, so... For those of you that don't know, Daniel was a boxing judge. Yes. Give me a little bit about that. You're the guy at the... There's a boxing ring. You're one of the guys, I'm a little new to this, outside the <laughs> ring, calling the shots of what you think landed and who won. Exactly. Yeah, you just go each round. Um, you're watching the bout. You're, there's different ways to judge a boxing match. You know, Some people like a little more power. Some people like speed. It's, it's what you like, but, but there are rules to follow. And you judge each round, and as the round ends, you turn in the scorecard, and you turn it into the commissioners, and at the end of the bout, add them up. What do the three judges have? That's the winner. Okay, that, that's something you taught me. There's three judges all the time. Yes. And the reason, I said, well, why do they all score it differently if it's, you know, scientific, technically? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't they all be getting the same thing? And you told me. Yes. Well, there's a few, there's two different things. One is the judges are sitting on three different sides of the ring. If the, you know, the square ring, one judge here, one judge here, one judge here. You got two boxers, boxers back is to you, I'm sitting here looking up and the boxers are going to town, but all I'm seeing is the back of one boxer. I don't know what's scoring and what's not. That makes perfect sense. The judges on the two sides of the ring, they're seeing everything. So Why not four judges, one for every side? Um, I, I don't know, it's always been that okay. way. I, just, always, I guess they want an odd number to hopefully, okay. you know. I'm just thinking there's three. always one side that is just kind of out there. Yeah. Another thing is it's really subjective. You know, like I said, some some judges will give a little bit more to um, aggression, and some judges will give it a little bit more to defense and, and slickness. You know, and so most good commissions will try to match up a, a team of judges that kind of are on the same page. Be honest, and you don't have to give names. Have you seen some bias where you know, not you know, Joe likes this boxer, and he's always given Joe the upper points. Uh, well. I, I wouldn't say I've ever seen real bias, but one thing that could happen, it never happened to me of course, is your hometown guy is losing and there's you know 10,000 screaming rabid fans and you know when that score gets announced, you've got to get out of that arena somehow. <laughs> it kind of can weigh on they, your mind. They know who the judges it can are. weigh on your mind. But I got to say that uh, luckily our hometown guys always did good, so I, I never had to fight my way out of the, out of the arena. <laughs> okay, good. so from boxing to Disney, where did your, when did your love for Disney start? Oh boy, and that's in the book too. Because you're like 25 or 26, I'm guessing, in the age. You're talking about how many years I like Disney or no, <laughs> age? I don't look a day over 80, right? <laughs> no, I'm 57. When did, you, when did you start loving Disney? Well, I grew up in Los Angeles, so of course, Disneyland. Okay. You know, every time, it's in the book too. Every time you get company from out of town, where, where do they want to go? I remember you said Disneyland or the beach. I like Disneyland better than the beach because I, I can't swim and, you know, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, Disneyland was just, I couldn't wait for company to come because that's when mom and dad would pack us up and go to Disneyland. And uh, I just fell in love with it. How old are you about your first oh, time to Disneyland? My first time, I almost died at Disneyland according to what my mom tells me. Yeah, a babysitter took me to Disneyland. <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling this story. No, this is good, this is good. <laughs> Apparently the babysitter had me in the stroller and they were working on some windows on Main Street and the plate glass window fell. You could have owned Disneyland. I could have owned Disneyland or been buried in the Haunted Mansion. But anyway, apparently the babysitter jumped and pushed the stroller out of the way just in time. Plate glass window fell. Could have been the end right there. Like and I no, said, do you remember if anything Disney did anything for you and the babysitter mm, or was it a non-issue? I wouldn't remember, but right. I've been told that everything was fine. So I guess they just didn't think of I it. I think there's a lot more to that story. I think the babysitter was trying to kill him. and had, the Babysitter probably got lifetime passes and there never was, told my mom. So I don't was, know. <laughs> there was no problem with the window. If you hear laughing in the background, his wife Tammy is listening to this. She's Tammy. Yeah, that's my, she's my support. She's my You know, my he's biggest been smiling. Tammy said before he started, smile, Dan, make sure you smile. And you, you've been smiling a lot. Well, that's because I'm with the panda. Okay, that's I can't good. believe I'm in the panda cave. This is, this is awesome. This is, we did plan this for a oh while. Oh, my gosh. And the book, the book, we're going to get into the book now. First, let me get more about Disney. Okay, so then 
You, when did you move from Los Angeles to, does, do you go from Los Angeles to Las Cruces, New Mexico? Um, yeah, well then, t uh, actually you see, my my wife Tammy and I uh, went to the same high school. You've been married 38 years, by the way. How did you met know? Tam you told me. Oh, it's in the book. No, I told you no. the car. <laughs> Tammy, Tammy, you met her in high school. We met in high school, That's yeah. A, it's a great story, and she's a wonderful lady. You can't see her, but she is. Yeah, she is a wonderful lady. And I, oh, we'll I, put a picture of her. We went to grad night together. And a year later, she loved she loved Disneyland so much. She married me. So it was well, so really you both. It wasn't that she she already loved Disney. Nobody had to put their love for Disney onto the other. No, I I think she she didn't really seem to be like you know. Well, actually, both of us were not really into Disney as much like we are now. But I, I know she liked Disney because she was ready to go to the grad night and she seemed to really enjoy it. But I think our love for Disney has you know grown more now. I mean, now we're just we're all in. We just okay. love it. How often we do don't. you come to Disney World? Mm, often. What, maybe three, four, two, three, four times a year, every okay, chance now, we get. And here's a shameless plug, I have to do it. He uses David's Vacation Club Rentals. We're here right now on David's David's Club Rentals. And how was the, truthfully, how was the experience? We've done it three times, and I recommend it to everybody. John, I, I'm serious. I'm I, not I, just I saying that. I, I tell it all the time. You can't beat it. And how nice it is to have a sponsor, you know, for me to get paid from, that <laughs> that does something that's really good. You know, sometimes you get desperate, and you would have to choose somebody that, isn't good. I wouldn't do that. So right. I'm so glad to represent a company that's awesome. Thank I you. understand. Yes, I so love. So I'm these. so glad to hear that. Thank you. Oh yeah. Okay. So now, who? How do you decide to write this book? And this is the book takes his love for boxing, because Disney Tale of the Tape is literally a boxing match between attractions, and they don't necessarily have to be like a boat attraction to a boat attraction. No. It could be the Royal Car what is it, Cinderella's Royal Carousel, or is it, no, it's Prince Charming. Prince Charming Royal Carousel against Stitch's Great Escape. Right, and people would say, well, that's not a good matchup. It actually is a fun well. thing to judge what do you like better, and it breaks it down to, I'm oh, sorry, we break it down, put it up here. The old saying in boxing is, John, styles make fights. But what are the breakdown? It was one is the appearance, or is it the, the environment of where yeah, you are? Yeah, there's different categories, like the Q, uh, Imagineering and, and, and uh, like technology, uh, I can't remember the exact categories in that exact ma match because different matches oh, have different categories. Yeah, okay. they do change up. They do change up. So, how did the how did this come about when you wrote? Okay, the book? yeah, it's it's, it's, it, it's amazing the way it happened. Uh, I I started with a blog, DisneyFountainOfYouth.blogspot.com. So it's my blog. That? I'm still doing it. DisneyFountainOfYouth.blogspot.com. That's it. It's, it's right up there. What, <laughs> col what color is it? Yellow. How did you know? That? Because it's not, that's <laughs> awesome. Because it is. <laughs> so I started with that and. Uh, I didn't think much of it because everybody has a blog, but I thought it'd be fun. I wanted to express my love for Disney, and so that happened. And Bob McLean, he's the publisher of Theme Park Press. I've had a lot of people here that have a book on Theme Park Press. Yeah. Oh well, if you're for Disney books, you can't beat it. And I, before I was even had ever written this book, uh, I used to buy the books and read them myself because I just love them. I mean, there's amazing books. But he got wind of it somehow, and he approached me, and he had a, a website at the time called Disney Dispatch, Disney Tale of the Tape, matching up attractions and snacks and restaurants and I thought that sounds really fun so like you know did you Dole Whip and Premium Mickey yeah Mouse? they were one of the originals from the column and they're in the book oh, is, I figured it's in the book over. yeah I carried it over to the book that was a good matchup I mean oh that's a that's a tasty matchup so um, the column ran for about a year Disney Dispatch he sold it I think and it kind of died out he went into the publishing business I retired from the post office after 30 long years Oh. You're the person that we wait on the line oh, for? Oh, the mail must go through. I was the mailman. I was oh, the guy okay. running from your dog. All right. Well, you have cats, but I mean people that have dogs. My cats and I have been you. bit a few times, but that's another story, another book. Ugh. Anyway, um, where was I? So then um, he, he got a hold of me and he said, you know, I had retired. I'm sitting there minding my own business. And here comes an email. How would you like to write a book based on your column? I thought, well, the column was fun, but would that be book worthy? You know, I, I don't know. But I talked it over with my wife and she said, I think it'd be pretty good. So I said, okay, let's give it a try. And so it was born. It's a very different read. A lot of books want to tell oh. you advice on where to go and what hotel to stay at and what how to how to approach the park and when you should go to the bathroom and when you should eat lunch and what time to go on the ride. Totally <laughs> great and different. And what's nice is that you can pick it up, read a little bit, put it back down, pick it up again. You don't have to go through it at once because they're it's 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 nice digestible pieces of bouts. That's the way it turned out. I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, John, I, I, I really believe there's not another book like it. Because I've read a lot of Disney no. books. There's guidebooks, and there's trip there's reports, no memoirs, but, but a boxing match book? Come on. But, you know, it's, and it's not a boxing book. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's boxing themed, but it's really for Disney fans. And I know it's, it's only Disney fans that can really appreciate it. In fact, my, I think I told you my parents 
89 and 86. <laughs> Couldn't wait for my book to come out. When they got it, they, mom came over and said, um, do you think anybody's going to understand this? That's terrible. I, I promise, Mom, there are some Thanks, people mom. that will. Thanks, Mom. Just go to one page. Just, I told her, just go to page 143 and read from there to the end, because that just tells a little bit of, of who, other than Disney who stuff. Are the who are all the judges? Do you oh, remember them all? Uh, I'm going to try to remember. Oh, I hope I don't miss them. If you do, we'll the put spot. their name up. It's okay. No. I've got uh, Jerry Cornell. He's uh, he he's with uh, Theme Parkology. Okay. Makes oh, awesome Disney videos. Oh, John, they're theme incredible. He does mostly Disneyland stuff, but he does some great Jerry. Oh, okay. His videos. I are know awesome. Theme Parkology. Love okay, that. yeah, it's it's really good. I recommend. Uh, Randy Crane. He's the author of the book Faith and the Magic Kingdom. Okay. I had written. I had read the book. I never dreamed I would ever be collaborating with Randy because I was Very just cool. you know I just thought the world of him and his book and it's just he's quite a guy. Um, Krista Joy, Disneyways.com. Okay. And she was one of the first ones on board, and she's the one that kind of helped me to get hooked up with Jerry and Randy Crane. She knows the Disneyland people. Right. right. Jimmy Horn, he uh, owns, I think it's a Once Upon a Time Travel, and he's on the Disney Nerds podcast, one of the one of the co-hosts. Okay. Great guy. Did a great too. job. He was one of my first judges, too. Um, I came in, like, late in the game. You did. You did. Uh, Dave Kennedy, Dave's Disney View podcast. Okay. This guy knows his stuff. I am so glad he got on board. He really did some tough ones. John Sakari. I think you know him. <laughs> Next time I hope to get in earlier. Yeah, you came in late, so you didn't get any of the main event bouts. But okay, you did some I, I great like, bouts. interesting stuff. Well, your famous line, uh, I'm sorry, China, but I love your orange chicken. <laughs> oh, I just my, love that I never, line. I, really, I honestly did not realize that all of my judging revolved around how close the attraction was to certain food. I really, I didn't, until I read it, I'm like, wow. <laughs> it just worked out that way. But that was awesome. I love that line. Um, when, I, when we talked about France, it was because it's close to the bakery. I was like, what? And the ice cream shop. Uh, and another guy we have is Gary Merritt. He's, uh, he's an actual boxing judge that judged over 1,600 professional bouts. How many bouts did you judge? Over 100. Oh, and he did 1,000? 1, 1,600. Okay. That puts this guy is a real, yeah, he, he did it for 37 years. I only wow. did it for about 10 years. Well, you've really done it for 38 years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Another boxing judge, uh, Nathan Palmer from Indiana. He he uh, he's done hundreds of bouts, and he does world title fights. He's the one that connected me with Gary Merritt, and he's a uh, he's been at Disney World I think five times. He said, and he's he was planning a Disney cruise at the time, and he's a big Disney fan. We just hit it off. Okay, and then another judge, uh, a really special judge, a wonderful lady, Monica Segura. This this lady has been to Disney World quite a few times, been to Disneyland, she knows her stuff, she's got a degree in phys ed, she's been to boxing matches, and she's my daughter. <laughs> so she's totally qualified. <laughs> a little bias there. And so I know that she knows her stuff, and she really does. And then uh, one guy, John, the, the main, probably the main guy, he wrote the foreword for the book, Len Testa. Yes. The unofficial guide to Walt Disney World. He's the first guy I reached out to, and he said yes right away, enthusiastically, you can ask my wife. Awesome. I was so excited. Hun, Len Testa is going to write the foreword for my book. Which you find when it wasn't Len. He just hired someone to talk yeah, it to was, him. It wasn't that Len Testa. No, it was that Len Testa. And then you have referees? There's referees in the book, yeah. There's a, a couple of them are actual referees that I worked with. Uh, when I was judging, these guys were referees in, the, in New Mexico. Uh, Rocky Burke and uh, Lawrence Cole from Texas. Uh, one special referee, uh, John, is a guy named Frank Goodman. Oh, I know Frank. You know Frank? Yeah, but you know what? He photoshopped. He's so skinny and so small. <laughs> yeah, right. No, he's tiny. Like, like I couldn't even see him. Oh, that's I, I think when he gets to a door with the electric thing, it doesn't yeah. even open for him. <laughs> so when I saw him, I was like, oh, I didn't know, because I see this muscle guy. Yeah, yeah, but in real life, he's just a little tiny guy. Oh, yeah, right. How you doing, Frank? <laughs> no, no, don't Shh. <laughs> No, he's a good guy. Yeah, I met him at Ohana one if, day. If he wanted my Dole Whip, I'd give it to him. I don't that's, want to get to a That's why I said you've never refereed a match. You want to be a ref? Ref. I'm not going to say no. You want to no. be friends with Frank Goodman. He, is, he was the masked maniac, professional wrestler. His arms are bigger than my legs. So, you know, I had to get him in there. He's if quite you're a fight, character. You want, take him with you him. want him on your side. Yeah. And uh, another guy is Woody Kozlowski. He's a referee in the book. He, he was originally from Colorado. Wait, Mike Wazowski? No, Woody Kozlowski. This guy has two eyes. <laughs> and um, another judge we have is a guy from California named Zach Young. All right, so where can we get this book? Okay, the book is available on Amazon. Okay. Uh, paperback or Kindle. You could also go to themeparkpress.com, and uh, there's a, it'll tell you about the book there. You can see some excerpts from it. Do but Amazon's the way to go. All right, okay. so when volume two comes out, are you coming back? If you'd have me, I'd love to come, come back. I'll this come is so fun. Here. Awesome. The Thank Panda you. Cave is an awesome Thank place. Thank you very much, sir. I really Thanks, appreciate John. it. I can't wait for volume two. Oh, and I can't wait pleasure. to be part of it, really. Oh, I can't wait, too. I want to give you a better matchup. you got to do a main event. All right. <laughs> All right. I know Thank you can you. do it. Thanks, John.
And there you have it, show number 44. Uh, thank you again from the bottom of my heart for joining me every month. Uh, next month's guest should be Matt Roseboom from Attractions Magazine. Let me tell you, I was shocked. Matt came to me crying, just on his knees crying, kicking and screaming, John, Panda, please let me be on your show. And I was like, Matt, I don't want to do it. And he was, he just, he, he gave me a, a Snickers bar. He gave me uh, other items of, of wealth and, and stuff. And I said, oh, okay, Matt, we'll do it. Actually, no, I'm really honored that uh, to have Matt Roseboom on the show. So if he doesn't flake, he will be here. And we will have a pretty cool uh, skit, I think. I have something in mind, a cupcake thing in mind. I don't know. This is just my, my brain. Once again, if you, a loved one, a family member, or a friend, are thinking of going to Walt Disney World, please check out my exclusive sponsor, David's Vacation Club Rentals at... <laughs> dbcrentals.com you will not be sorry that you check them out and uh, even if you have hotel reservations already that can be canceled look at what kind of accommodation you can get for the same or lower price probably better so check them out until next time go forth create pandemonium and above all please keep giving out those panda hugs um, come give them to me I'm here thank you so much guys until next time panda out Oh, and I didn't forget, there are two very special little people I'd like to say hello to, Ava and Sadie.